I have never seen anything like this before. It's the Broncos vs. Cardinals preseason game, and right now everybody's fighting to try to earn their spot on the team. And it looks like all the kickers are having a daggum race to see who can get cut first. We open up with Brett Maher missing a 47-yard field goal, hearkening back to his time with the Cowboys. But this time, it is by no means a chip shot, but still a very makeable kick. So the Broncos are like, okay, that's one strike, you're out. Next, they send in their other guy who's competing for a spot, Elliot fry who i'm guessing is a maher fan because he copies more than just his style but actually misses on the same side leaving the broncos with a sinking feeling about their situation and now with matt prater legendary nfl kicker and former world record holder for the longest nfl field goal the cardinals look like they were poised in a great position to and he missed it what is in the air today it's gotta be nostalgic the way that people are missing things but okay whatever we open up with an 0-3 for the kickers and all the coaches are probably feeling pretty rough about their special team teams right now, but they're barely out of the first quarter, so there's plenty of football left. Next, we get Elliot Fry attempting a 55-yarder, and miraculously, it's good. So a collective 25%, one for four, for all kickers from all sidelines. And then next, we even have a second little miracle as they give Prater a 38-yard chip shot. He knocks it through. It's easy for the legend. So now we just get one more kicker that needs to make one today, and it's Maher. But there's just one thing everybody seems to forget in this, that Maher is God's least favorite kicker, meaning that a D-lineman gets his hand through and tips the ball having it fall shorter than his time in Dallas leaving him potentially leaving the Broncos the week after he got one block just like guess what his time with the boys so maybe nostalgia really is the key secret in the air